How are you tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Have we got a big show lined up for you tonight? Not only are we going to hear testimony from a new friend of mine from Pentingle, New York, Pastor Carl Pastor, about love and its consequences on the seamy side of life, but we'll also be hearing the incredible but true story of exactly how Cy Sperling lost his hair and how this eventually turned him to the hair replacement business. Of course, we'll be hearing from our regulars, my wife Jolene and friend Darla. Ah, that's the cue for the inspirational song of the day. That's the part of the program where we all could be built up, edified, and encouraged to continue walking in the ways of the Lord and to be givers as well. This is a little tune you're especially going to enjoy because I wrote it. It's available on album, cassette, or CD, and it's called 18 Wheeling Up to the Sky. I've been to Chicago, I've driven to LA, I've dropped my loads in Memphis, and boy, I love PA. I've been where I've been, only the Lord knows why. Now I'm driving my rig up to the sky. 18 wheeler, yeah, I'm coming home. 18 wheeler, don't hang up the boat. 18 wheeler, no, it's not goodbye. I'm just driving my rig up to the sky. When I was in Atlanta, I went to see my ex. Then a trip to Columbus to give my second wife her check. And then I went to St. Louis. See the new apple of my eye Now I'm driving my rig up to the sky Oh, breaker, breaker, breaker Open up the line I'm gonna send this solid message Get it to the church on time And for all my good buddies Get that Toyota off the road I'm just driving my rig up to the sky 18 wheeler Yeah, I'm coming home 18 wheeler Bring it down, boys. Bring it down, boys. Boys, I said bring it down. Bring it down. We'll be right back after this commercial break and for more spiritual information from Reverend Todd. 18 Welcome back, friends. I'm Reverend Tawdry. I was just telling my devoted wife, Jolene, here how happy I am to be part of this Lockport television ministry. I mean, we may not be as big as those televangelists in the major market segments with their demographics and share ratings that trigger higher funding arrangements and larger uh, benefits, but we're content being here with you all, right, honey? Sweetheart, a thought just came to me. Yeah, I mean, we're not like New York City or Chicago or, or even Amherst, but... Why is it when I think of the Lord, I think of the color blue? Well, probably because everything we have in our house is blue, honey, and, and we are very close to the Lord, as you well know. Roses are red, violets are blue. I love you, Jesus, because I love blue. That's a sweet little prayer, Jolene. Honey, wouldn't it be so marvelous if all our viewers could have that little prayer on a little refrigerator magnet and they could just have a little reminder of it every day? That's a wonderful idea, Jolene. Fellas, check that out. Oh, boy, you never cease to amaze me. As I was saying, uh, we love working out here in Lockport and in the countryside and everything because uh, we love to look at all the beauties of nature. 
Sometimes when we're driving down a country road, I'll just signal to my driver to just stop for a couple of minutes, roll down the window so we can make, take a nice big whiff of that country air. And, and my wife and I are lovers of the animal kingdom. And we like to look at all the pigs and the cows and the, the dogs. Uh, and I believe my wife has an experience she has to relate there about uh, her pet chicken. Uh, what's that, Jolene? Well, as some of you may know, you regular viewers, I just have a fancy for chickens. And as you know, I have a pet chicken myself. Well, the most horrible thing happened to it the other day. I was walking my chicken, and as it strutted across the road, it was struck by a large 4 by 4 vehicle, and it was killed. And I walked right over to it, and I bent down, and I scooped up my chicken, and I held it close to my bosom. And its eye was just hanging out of the socket, like this. And I got down on my knees, and I prayed, and I prayed to the Lord to bring back my dear chicken to me. And the most amazing grace of God occurred. He resurrected my chicken. The eye went right back into the socket. He was alive. So you see, viewers, if God cares about just one tiny sparrow, he cares about my dear pet chicken. Interestingly, she made a monetary vow that morning. I'm getting a little emotional. I don't think that's unrelated because it's not. Private tissue. Thank you. Our first guest this evening, friends, is a man who has seen the depths of despair, the heights of fame, the filth of the low life, and somehow he has turned it all into a successful ministry. Let's give our attention now to Pastor Carl Pastor. <laughs> Hello, Lockport. <laughs> hi, Bill. <laughs> you remember my wife, Jolene? Oh, hi, Jolene. Nice hi. to see you again. <laughs> yes, sir. -y. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Bill. It sure is good to be here in Lockport. Lockport's a great town. <laughs> I love Lockport. Thank you. Pastor, pastor. <laughs> you go, yeah. What is it, Bill? Tell us about your brush with the devil. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm glad you asked that question, Bill, because I recently com completed my first year of the, my teleministry, uh, you know, back, back in my hometown. And uh, it was such, so successful that several affiliates picked up the show. And it, we're just being blessed all over the place. It's a, just wonderful things have been happening. Uh, well, now, as I remember, uh, you were abandoned as a youth, and uh, you joined a band. You were on 42nd Street. You worked the strip joints and such. Yes, that's right, Bill. And I'll tell you something. Right now, I just completed a new album down in Nashville, which tells all about my experiences as a sexually active sinner. And uh, it's just fantastic. We went down there. We had a 26-piece band, a 40-voice chorale, and we're so excited about it. You won't believe this, Bill. We were actually invited to be part of the Nashville National Gospel Special. <laughs> uh, you don't have like, healing sessions or anything like that. Pardon me, Bill? A healing service? You, you probably don't have that. Of course we got healing service. We got everything. We got healings. We got tongues. We got uh, uh, the whole shot. Snakes. I mean, you name it. We got it. Everything down there. It's really exciting. And we've been blessed. We, we've been blessed. No doubt about it, Bill. Hey, and you know what? I want to tell you one other thing, Bill. I would like to invite your entire listening audience to come down any time at all to see my show and, and, and the whole entertainment thing. We've got all kinds of things happening down there. My, my church is just doing fantastic. I'd like to invite you all to come out and see me. <laughs> Do you still drink Johnny Walker Black? Beg your pardon? Well, you know, you used to carry around that guitar case of yours, you know, sucked it down pretty good as I remember. Well, I don't know what does that has to do with anything we're talking about here, Bill. I mean, uh, well, I, you know, I was just saying, you know, I, you never used to go anywhere without that guitar case. Listen, I don't like your attitude, Tawdry. What are you trying to don't, pull here? Don't get excited. Don't well, get well, excited. you're trying to pull something. No, let, out let's me. just change the subject. All right. Let's you still go. fighting that bout with the clap? Go ahead and tell what that's 
Oh no, not again. Ah, oh, sorry. Alright. I guess we'll be back next week. Roll theme. I don't care, this guy's a nut!